boom we're live hey everybody and welcome I see a lot of people are already live some of you were here like half an hour ago I have to stress it again we start at 4 p.m. not 3 30 <laughs> but yeah I'm just kidding uh, hey to everybody uh, that's here hey to everybody that said hi uh, I do apologize if I didn't say hi back I was just uh, fixing up some of the stuff good news is I finally found the model that I did a tutorial on about the kitchen faucet so we no longer have to use this one for the kitchen so I can just uh, get that thing out of the way and now we have this one well, and if I go and follow the rules that I've set up which is basically use only things we've uh, either done on live or things that I've done a tutorial on in that case I'm allowed to use this model because well I have a tutorial on how to model this one so if you want to uh, see how this thing is done go ahead and check that tutorial but for now we will be having we will be using this uh, faucet here for the kitchen so let me just really quickly do some opening up on this thing so select this 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 this, this. oh snap there's a lot of things in here All right, so like this one, rotate. It's gonna rotate in a weird angle, but just move it back here. There we go. You can have your turbo smooth back. All right, what the hell is that? Ah, you're no longer need it. So it was blind and you can get closed and there we go all right just is it fine yeah it's fine now my kitchen looks better let me just do this uh, dollar sign material equals undefined and now it's black we don't want it to be black, we just want it to be something like this. There we go. All right, awesome. All right, what did I miss? From live, hi, hi to all, hi. Funny fact, the tutorial is the first video I viewed on your channel. Well, nice block, mine as well. <laughs> all right, I guess uh, this model was the model that brought you all to being here, watching me do this thing live, I guess. So that's a good model. All right, before we actually continue uh, working with this thing, I do want to say thank you to all the people that actually have donated by now. People have left the super chats. You guys are the best. All right, now, Dennis, what's your monitor dimensions approximately? Appro approximately, I got two monitors, 24 inch, uh, 24 inch uh, each. So, yeah, that's it. All right, so today uh, we want to continue creating more uh, in this scene. We had last time we made something about the bedroom, did some uh, modeling for this uh, side. I actually like this, how it turned out. Uh, the only thing, the only thing that I've done off camera, which I basically did uh, like while I was waiting for the stream to start, was I just took some of these uh, windows and I just did a bit of a scale. So we have scaling, so we have windows on all openings now in the, the house. So nothing else has been done off camera. And the only other thing that I wanted to do here was when I uh, saw this I didn't kind of uh, like the texture that was going horizontally so what I want to do now is just take one more uh, of this material one more version call it uh, rotated and this version I just want to rotate it for 90 degrees on the W so we get something like this Oh, looks a bit elongated. Let me just do this then. Uh, 0 0.3. Yeah. 
much better. Okay, so what are we doing today? What do you guys want to do? Are you still updating that list with other Max uh, channels? Sure, man. If you got anything that's worth mentioning, just drop it in here. I'll add it to the list as well. I have been working on an update to the website, which has been very, very long time overdue. So once that thing goes up there, the list will be there on the site as well. All right, that's fine. All right, let me open up uh, Discord. I'm gonna let you guys shoot off some ideas in here and we'll start from there. All right. Oh, somebody did say, what is this? There we go. I'm learning about our swimming groups. Here we have. Okay, tutorial requests. Hey, right, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, I can. But first of all, I want to start actually doing something, and uh, later on, I can like check out whatever you guys have posted, and I can give you some critiques. All right, any ideas for today? Where do we go from here? Uh, what do we make? This room is okay for now. This was supposed to be the laundry room. All right, then. The exterior part. Hmm. Actually, you know what? That's actually a pretty good idea because I remember one of the uh, things that I did like yeah, about the Japanese house was something like this. This was pasted like a few uh, streams ago about how the exterior for the house would be made. And I like this. Especially I can mix it up something uh, like this with something like this with an open venue here. So, all right, let's let's do that though. Let's go ahead and uh, create that outline for the house. It shouldn't be that hard. Though. It's basically just uh, a frame for this. Yeah. So, all right, uh, let's put this thing on and see how it goes. Whoa, whoa, what, what the hell just happened? All right. Okay, well then, let's start by adding in some of the support, or one of some of those support beams. Gonna go from here, two by four. So let's go twenty by forty. And that's way too much. So let's try thirty by thirty. Yeah, thirty by thirty for the main beams. What is up with the music? All right. Okay, so the way that this thing works, the way that I see it, or well not that, but the way that I see it from here, at least from this one, is this beam goes a lot higher than the door you have this fall but since in our case we don't have this tall of a fall in here so let me just do something like this then just to, to test it out I want to take one of my lines and let's say this is gonna be ah damn it there we go so this line can represent the fall for that roof. 
let's say something maybe like this. Extrude it outwards so I get some traction out of it. Yeah, this is gonna work. This way it's gonna work. So we'll flip it around. Hit it for 90. This side all right Okay, so now let's do this. Isolate both of these. All right, up to about there. Up to there. Right, cool. Now I want this thing to be mirrored on the X as a copy. And this one can be symmetried out on the X as well, just so I don't have to make the cut again. So another symmetry oh, on the Z in this case. Flip. There we go. This thing that comes over here. Now let's just put it into position. Okay, but I will need to do a bit of moving around so I make sure everything is in the right position. For example, I want the corner here to be on the actual edge. So move this thing along with it. Okay. There we go, one there, one other there. Now for these. That one over there, snap this one over on this side. And come to think of it, this could have all been done so, so much quicker and easier if I just had cut in a simple polygon, cut this thing out and move the edge down. But in hindsight, it's always easier to see that. But when I'm uh, doing something like this, well, you spend uh, time on testing stuff out and until you know how it's gonna look like eh, you lose time so it's fine all right at least now I have the cover for this just move it down on the X or actually the Z there we go All right, now let's just see if this is the right size or if it's too big or however. Nah, it actually looks, it looks fine. All right, cool. Just this kind of thing tells me one thing that I would probably have to do and that is increase the size of this uh, patio 
to maybe something along these lines along up to here where it stops and same here and there we go all right so now this thing can get to the corner like that let me just check the image really quickly do we have oh see, see it doesn't go all the way to the corner because the corner needs to have another support major or main support beam so let's do that and this can be let's let's put it like this then just so i know at least i have one beam aside there you go that's fine now for this uh, i want this thing to rotate Forty-five, and that's going to be along, yeah, along this edge. And I want this thing to go locally. There you go. Okay, move locally again. Something is not exact. It's not exactly 45 degrees, which is kind of bugging me a bit, but it's fine. There you go. Okay, we can live with this. All right, move this again locally on here. Do probably something like this. Let me just put this thing to the side so I can see it always. Oh yeah, this thing goes all the way. Like this. All right, cool. Just so I know it's that let's add a small chamfer to it one centimeter should be fine for this okay cool uh, right now let's just do this same thing on this side so mirror it over on the X as a copy All right, I have that main one in there. Let's add in, well, first of all, let's just add in another chamfer for this beam as well. And go another one over here. All right, so we have one, two, three, four major ones. And across, yes, okay. Let's go one, two, three. All right, let's take everything into one color and i do apologize if i'm not talking that much but i'm just trying to like get everything to work and fit so yeah i'm not much into explaining when i'm doing stuff like this all right again let's see we have one additional one going on the top there we go this beam goes across and holds the top of the roof like so so on top of this let's just select this make sure it's going in view to 
to about there. And now I do want this thing to be a tad bit smaller, just so it's not clipping on the edges. So for this, I'm going to scale it in the words just a tiny bit like this. So now it kind of looks like it's going through all of these beams. There we go. Okay, that's cool that way. Now, I will need to do the same thing. How do you mean, how do I switch coordinates instantly? All right, now, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Hmm, the view. All right, copy this thing over. Select that, select this beam, this one, this one, and this one, and just copy them over on the other side. And we're gonna have our main support for the roof. Hey Jay, uh, welcome to the stream, dude. Ah! You mean how I'm changing the uh, local and uh, the view for view and such? The coordinate system. The way you do that is when you have something selected and you have the move, you just hold down Alt and right click. On this side, you have the coordinates. That way you can change them from world, working, view, screen, parent, whatever you have here. So just hold on uh, Alt and right click. Also, let me take everything that we have here and put it in its own layer. Call this thing patio. Oof. And it might be a good idea to actually select everything here and isolate it so I'm only working on this thing all right cool well man if, it, if this was new for you you learned something and that's always a good thing so let's take ah crap I probably should have isolated the wall with it yes I know yeah there we go Now, the good question is if I pull this beam back, is it gonna be low enough to, oh yeah, this is gonna cover up some of the windows. We'll see how that thing looks, but it might be a problem. Might have to do something else then. to that side hey man <laughs> no problem don't worry about it uh, I do this just so you guys can learn something and at the same time I'm having some fun I get to uh, see what you guys are doing or what you guys like and at the same time I sometimes learn something myself as well so it's cool now let's get one more beam on this side. And at this point, it's more like playing with Legos, if I'm honest. 
just trying to fix everything up, but I think that it's a tad bit too low, which in this case might <sighs> this is what kind of bothers me. This beam is supposed to be above to about here. But if we put it here, hey, you know what? We can put it there. And the supporting beam is going to be angled a bit. And angling does work for support, so it's fine. I almost went the other way around and I was going to start modifying the roof and the height of the room and that would have been a lot more work. But this way it's fine as well. Just increase the height here. There we go. Edit poly. Move this thing back. Right. All right, it's fine on this side. Give it a darker color, so what the hell is going on? It's fine there. Alright, delete this one, I don't like it. And just copy over. Now the worst thing possible that can happen is if Max decided to crash on me and I lose all of this uh, legoing around, I would not be a happy camper. But just do this. There we go. Okay, main support is in. I do want to save this, so now Max can crash all the time, as, as much as it wants, it's not going to do much of a problem. Alright, so the only thing that I could add in here now is uh, the main support that's going to be from here to these guys, so copy once. Scale it inwards just like this. And since uh, this side is a tad bit higher, I'm just going to select it and move it upwards like this. There we go. With the chamfer on. There we go. No problems whatsoever. That's cool. That is cool. Alright, so one main in there. It's fine, it goes across. It meets up in here, which is similar to what I'm seeing on this corner. So one across, one's across like that. And the only thing that I have in there that I'm missing is those little support guys. Now for those, what I'm gonna do is Select it like this. They do go perpendicular with this so that they are not supposed to like... Huh. Alright, so let's do it like this then. I'm gonna go plane. Do about there, like that. Edit poly. Get it back to here. Raise it up. there there we go and now what i'm going to do is well first of all i'm going to create one more copy on this side and now for this guy i'm going to create some connections in here those connections are going to be the number of beams i want let's try with 25. all right awesome those 25 will be 
what I want to have. So for this, what I'm going to do first now is cut out these uh, edges in here. So I'm going to go with slice plane. There we go. Put it right in there. Slice once. 90 degrees. Slice twice. Turn off the slice now. Let's just delete the leftover like that. And what I want to do is select these guys, create a shape out of them, make it a layer, that's fine. Is this the one? Yep, that's the one. Put it there. And now for these guys, make them renderable, make them rectangular. And with this, I cannot control how thick I want these guys to be. Let's try uh, five centimeters is fine. Mm, actually, it's not because this is made out of spline. So half of it is going to be floating above. And I don't want it to be visible. So let's try by moving just down like this. There we go. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just make it so it's going to be very precise. And that would be the height here was six. I'm going to make it 12. And now move it down on the Z for another six. So minus six. There you go. So now it's exactly 12 on the low side. And uh, make this chamfer. Just check the back side as well. Make sure everything is fine here. Yep, everything is fine. 0 0.3. There we go, gray ones. So uh, these planks or these guys are basically these uh, planks that we have over here. So let's add in that thing. The same thing I can do is on this side as well. So let me just see if I can just take these guys, rotate them 90 degrees and put them in the right place. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do the same thing that I just did for the other guys. There we go. Yeah, this can work. Just so I don't have to repeat the work. Cool. I'm uh, going to have to do a bit of uh, small playing around with this thing. So select that. There we go, clone to element, that's fine. Cool. All right, we got that. Just, hmm. All right, let's take this uh, thing, get its uh, pivot and align it to the center here. So pivot to pivot, X, Y, Z is fine. And now when we hit the mirror we should get it on the x with no problem like this there we go everything is going to be in the right position and we get most of it already done and the last thing that i can see on this roof is that we have planks going across so what this tells me is that i can simply now reuse the geometry that i already have so i'm gonna save this as it is now select this roof take this polygon detach 
Let's take this one, detach. And the reason for detaching is that even as such, I'm not sure how well uh, the floor generator is going to deal with this, but we'll see in a second. So floor generator, yeah, it's doing it just fine, I guess. If we had one continuous uh, polygon, I'm not sure how well it would have uh, dealt with it. So with this, uh, let's just get some of the parameters here. So for this, the width should probably be a bit longer. So let's write, no, 40. All right, 40 works. Uh, let's check the, the distance, the spread. No, that's not the grout. Where's the grout? Grout light. There we go. Node distance. Okay, cool. This works. So 40 by 1500. And I copy you. Put it here, paste. There we go. Do the same thing over here, paste. But in this case, as I can see, I'm gonna have to do a bit of rotation here. So, uh, huh. where is my direction? Wait, what? 15, no. 16, 90, 80, 75, 77, 78. All right, 78 works. So we have all of those going across. And if I take a look at my entire roof construction now, I can see that I have planks, I have the support beams. I will need to put this one on this side as well. So 90 degrees up on this side. There you go in the middle. It's right up there as well. All right, cool. Now I just need to add in some of the support or not the support, but the railing here and the railing is pretty simple. As I can see, it has a beam going in the middle, some for the lower part and it has uh, one cylindrical edge for the top so let's add that, that as well so again well actually for that one i can just take the already existing beams that are going across put them down because they are already at the right position put them down to maybe something like this and now on the x scale it inwards for let's try uh 50 percent when I'm scaling stuff like this, and I say 50%, uh, keep your eye on this piece over here which says X. So when I click and scale, you can see that number going down. So I know exactly how uh, how far it's going on. So till about 50 on the X, and then another uh, 60 on the Z. So 50 on the X. And 60 on the Z. That way, I know that it's exactly the same distance on both sides. So now, here would be 50 on the Y. And 60 on the Z. There we go. So we get that for our middle part, I guess. And then we have another that is going to be something like this one but this one is 
cylindrical and for cylindrical one is actually going to be even easier because all we have to do is get in here uh, hold on control or right click choose the line and just drag out one line from one edge to the other like this and this line can be, should be positioned where it's like this and just change it from being uh, rectangular down to being radial make it in the middle make sure it's in the middle there we go way too big so let's try to trend even a 10 is too big let me just check it out All right, let's really, really quickly compare this to the size of our guy. So our super average amazing guy is going this side. Oh yeah, actually that's the right size. Okay, get back to your position. Rotate this 90 degrees. Place it into its Place on a location like this, that's fine. Select this one, hold down shift, drag it over on this side. All right, cool. Now I just want to take these guys and drop them down us ever so slightly like this so like these guys give them another color all right cool we got a nice roofing we have the support beams we have the side in here and I can probably even add in um, these smaller caps in here but even as such I can leave it ah, let's just add those as well it's not nothing too hard it's quickly it's easy and just do it I will need to make this thing a tiny bit smaller. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. This works. Make it a chamfer. And the chamfer works really well here because it does look like the wood has been uh, uh, well cut up in a mill. So yeah, 0 0.3 that works just fine. All right, so one and then go like two and three. All right, cool. Isolate these three. Go to remove chamfer, remove chamfer, edit poly, attach, attach. Now everything is going to get the chamfer from the first one, and I can just do this again and again here. It's fine. I just need to select the last one, delete. There we go. All 
all right select all of them again like always give it a different color so i know it's worked on or i've worked on it now select this guy rotate 90 degrees place it into position there we go one in here two copies I actually could have hit it with a third one, but really not going to be seen in the scene. We'll see. Okay, one, two, and three, and just do it over on this side. Is it in the right position? Hey, hey, hey we got a new member. Welcome to the welcome to the channel, man. Thanks for joining. Actually, this is the first time I've had somebody click the join button on live. So, yeah, Rohit Cocaine. Wait, what? Your last name is Cocaine, dude. You must be awesome at parties. Just imagine this. Everybody is like uh, doing their uh, preps for some party, and somebody goes like, "Did you remember to call cocaine? We're not going without cocaine." <laughs> oh man, I would have so many good nights out with your name, dude. Oh snap! I just realized something. YouTube might, might not like my jokes about cocaine. I apologize, but that's his name. Rohit Cocaine. Dude, you have an amazing name. And I do apologize if I'm really mispronouncing your name or last name, but hot damn, it does sound like cocaine. Am I right? Is that how you pronounce your name? Let's select everything. Or just all right. The patio is fine. I'm gonna hide everything except the patio and check it out now. Is it possible that? Rohit is not actually on live chat. All right, let me select these guys. Well, actually, I'm going to select everything that has uh, it's standing up, so something like this. Even the even these guys, and I can just apply a UV map on them, a boxed one. One. 100 by not 10 damn it 100 all right there we go whoa i just noticed we got 46 people watching live and now before i see anything i'm curious about one thing and that is but i'm gonna see first then i'm gonna ask, see ask my question i'm curious about how many likes oh we got 23 likes not bad, not bad. I guess the rest of you are still deliberating on the idea if this uh, video is, or this stream is worth liking it. Whoa, 28. See, this thing kind of works. You see, when, as when you're creating videos on YouTube, you get these uh, um, notes from YouTube, always telling you stuff about how to uh, get more likes and stuff. And they keep saying that thing that uh, I should be adding in my videos that I really hate doing, and that is asking people to leave a like. 
I mean, damn. Whoa, 35. Thirty-five likes, not bad, not bad. All I had to do was just say it, and I got fifteen likes. Ah, damn, it does work. I guess YouTube does know their thing, and we got forty-six people on. Uh, just the fact that you stream modeling architecture in Max out automatically gets a like. I, that's that's a good thing. All right, so with having this thing on with a UV map, I should probably have this thing works as well then. So let's test it out. Oh, no. Okay, so for this, I'm going to give you a one for those ones and the ones that are going across like these ones, they will get the original one which is this one and then you're gonna get the one on the top ah no not you you oh, what was it? <sighs> man that subscribe thing on uh, from twitch scares the bejesus out of me every time somebody does it and yeah I have to find a way what the hell that thing is done. Wait, what is this? What the hell? Pending. Oh, whatever. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, you guys are posting stuff. Related. There we go. Oh, dude, you found a second image from this piece. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. We're adding this to our scene. Since we already have uh, this thing made, they have curtain blinds. This is ingenious. If you want to have some uh, privacy, just roll down the curtains. I like this idea. What the hell is this? Looks like a cardboard chair. Oh. Ooh, dude. Yeah. Yep. We're, we're adding this. We're adding this. Oh, this is the same thing. This is just continuing on with the... Oh, hello. I actually know these types of uh, walls. They have, like, all of these planks on top. Uh, on the side it does give a really nice look to a wall and I can see some nice lighting coming from the, the bottom which could be an interesting addition to our scene that's cool hey Dennis have you used Corona I've tried Corona I haven't used it so if I were to say anything it would be uh, well uninformed but I can just tell you what I've seen uh, or heard from other people, and that is that Corona is an amazing uh, thing to use. So, yeah. I've actually had one guy refer to Corona as for noob friendly V-Ray, if that makes any sense. That thing just scared me again. I really should find a way when I'm streaming on YouTube. Hey, Stanley, dude. <laughs> Here you go again with your money. <laughs> Much appreciated, man. Much love to you. Alright, let me drop up 
texture. Alright, that works. Actually, for this one, generate mapping coordinates is on, which means that if I put a texture, yep, it's kind of gonna work. Eh, it works, it works well enough. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? I copy this thing over on these two. Oh, snap, I'm missing one over here. So make it mirror on the X as a copy. Move it all the way back like this. All right, cool. All right, these two will get the UV map copied from this. Uh, what the hell did I just do? These two, paste, and apply the texture. It kind of works. It's fine. It's fine. UV map box. I've been doing a lot of boxing for this thing. get this one so it goes across there we go all right okay the patio thing is more or less finished the hell is this? What do I have? Whatever. Delete that. Now this piece here was what exactly? Oh yeah, this is the overhang on top of our mid room. All right, so let's do it like this then. Uh, since I did see that uh, we had those curtains falling down, so I'm gonna do is. Select these guys so I know what the hell is going on. Just isolate this piece. There we go. Well, like this. So I'm going to save first. Ugh. Now, what I do want to do is, first of all, I do want to have that opening here for the curtains. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and draw out where I want to have those curtains. So I'm going to go something like this over here, here and here. There we go. Although I might want to get this thing to go a bit further. Oh, actually, no. This is exactly what I wanted to drop because when this thing drops, it's going to go all the way up to here. Now, select this uh, vertex in there and fill it around. All right, I guess fill it around like this. Don't update nothing. Bro, could you give me some tips for using UV maps? Uh, Rabaka, just go over the videos I've actually done about UVs. Those are the 
real basics for UVing. Like the basic, basic uh, UV uh, maps. Like if you want to do anything that's more complex, it's hardly ever going to be used by a UV map. You're going to have to work with uh, the unwrap UVWs. All right, so for this now, I want to select just these two. And since this one will go on, what I'm going to do is... Let's just remove two, bench them apart like that. I want this thing to continue over here, this thing to continue over there. So two more connects, bench them apart. Two, three, and four. Control backspace. All right, that thing is Fine, now what I want to do is, I do want to have one opening here, and that open, well actually, you know what, I'm going to do it like this, snap this thing so I know it's in there. And do the same thing up here. Probably should have done this uh, when I was creating it like this. but. Yeah, uh, whatever. At least now you see how to fix it. All right, so once I have this, what I can do is just now add in the extra edges to where I need to have that opening, like this. All right, like this. Put it in there like that. And now one more cut would probably go. Actually, you know what? Let's not make this thing uh, complicated where when there is no need for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just these guys in here. Maybe just cap it off at the uh, end there. There we go, like that. So now. Take that part, and before I start doing anything to it, I'm going to add a new edit poly on top of it, and extrude it inwards. There we go. Minus 25, a round number. There we go. This will allow me to have that folding in here, and it can just drop up from there and at the same time and the isolate I can test it out again take that one that one this one this one and this one all right awesome so I just need to have it two more cuts one in there another one over here and these are gonna end abruptly over here because we don't have any geometry going across. So I'm gonna cut it up like that. Cut in there. Uh, for some reason, this thing is not going across. So let's make it so it goes across. Connect those guys, connect that thing, connect this thing. Not really too important seeing as how this is not going to be seen, but since we're going to be adding in some loops, why not have it? 
All right, so what that means is this place over here where I just created that cut is on the top, correct? Correct. And no. Wait a second, what? Not bad. We can live with this. So this one goes extrude inwards 25 again. And with these, all of them, well, except, except that one. I don't want to move that one. There we go. So now I have the places where these are going to drop down to. So, and the isolate now with just these two. Put on the chamfer and see how that thing's gonna look. Oh yeah, no problems anywhere. Everything is just fine. Even the corners, which I thought were gonna have some issues, we have no issues. And since this is gonna be made out of, is it a wood? Just check really quickly. I have no idea what that thing is made out of, but uh, it's all right. I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of a wood. Let's hit it with UV map box again, just so I have consistency in the texture. If I apply it like this. There we go, now it looks like a really nice worked on wood. All right, give it a darker color. There we go, nice all around. And that's, that's great, that's great. We have the openings and now we just need to make some sort of folds, something like to cover up that thing. How about bamboo blinds? What the hell is a bamboo blind and how does it look? You know, if you find something that's really cool looking. Oh, okay. So this is the original image. As I can see there, it's not wood. It's it's actually just plaster. I don't like, I don't want it to be plaster. We're going to make it some sort of some sort of a wood or something. You see, now we even have this thing. In here, it's made into the wall, but in ours, it's gonna be a bit of a different look. And when I'm looking at it like this, it kinda looks too plain. So what I want to do for it, I'm gonna isolate it. You use Corona or V-Ray? Uh, v I use V-Ray. So what I want to do in here, just so I make it a tad bit more interesting for this, I'm going to go ahead at a plane across. So let's go with 20 centimeters, just so I know it's a flat one. Flat up to here. Rotate around 180. Let's simply add in one more edge. Damn it, just give me fine. Get over here. goes across to about there and I can just get this thing to go across like this and select these guys inset let's go with four 
and then go extrude inwards minus 20 get the border raise it up with the shift and there we go now all down chamfer 0. Point something 0. 0.3 uh, minimum angle of let's three fifty actually that's fine because the edges here do need to be chamfered this can have a different color there we go all right now it looks like something that's made to hold uh, the curtains this way it was just too plain it seemed like it was missing something that looks better at least i think it looks better what do you guys think do you like it like this better or without it all right cool So why do I use duck duck go? Because it's amazing and I love it. <sighs> plus it's not tracking you, which is a nice plus. And whenever I'm searching for stuff, it shows me the raw results instead of getting the results that Google deems uh, more interesting, which generally means people that paid money for it. There you go, that's fine. Make this thing plain on the Y. Alright, and it meets in the middle. Cement will fix it. Edit poly. Remove that. And chamfer. 0.3. Is it 0 0.3 though? 0 0.3, yep. With 50. Yeah, nothing is going to change there. But again. There we go. Cool. Now we got that thing happening for us which kind of goes in line with the oh so this is bamboo mm, doesn't really look this is more in line with what I had in mind I like this better Where is the other one though? See, this is the thing here. Uh, this entire piece up here I'm guessing this from here on the sides, this is the AC. And up here we have a lighting fixture all built into this thing. I do want to get that thing going here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an uh, closure for this thing as well. And that enclosure is going to be basically built on top of it, on top of this. So we're going to retain what we have here with the wood, but just build on top of it. So let's see how that is going to look like then. So I'm going to get over here and just so I can start working from something, I'm going to select these guys like this. Detach as a clone, and I have a working base to go from. This one, I'm going to move it down just a tiny bit. Now, scale it inwards. I know for a fact that this thing is going to be like this. Go up and go back again. go and 
and raise it up and cap all right so with what i just did in here if i just isolate this thing you're going to see that over here we have this lip and that lip is basically where the lights are positioned so you get that nice overhang look to it so for this i'm going to go dollar sign material equals undefined there we go Uh, remove this, isolate this, flip it around. Okay, cool. Now, all right, what is this? Can you explain minimum angle with chamfer? Yes, I can, and it's quite simple. All right. Uh, minimum angle and maximum angle with a chamfer works something similar to this. For example, let's say you have a cylinder or pretty much anything else. It has a different uh, angles on the corners. If I put a chamfer on it, for example, something like this, just hit it with a chamfer. You're going to see that it kind of uh, chamfers all of my edges on this side, which is not what I want. I just want to get this top one. So if I increase the minimum angle to above the threshold at which these guys are at, so let's write 20, you can see that some of these are already starting to dissipate. If I increase this to something like 40, all of them dissipate, except the ones on the top. So this angle is the angle at which it will start uh, chamfering stuff. So yeah, that's the beauty of chamfer and minimum uh, angle. Uh, what was I doing? Yes, I was doing this. Now let's fi find a way to make this thing. Interesting. All right, so this one I can do. I can see that there is some extrusion downwards where I'm guessing this thing has positioned some lights. So let's add that thing as well. Mm, first of all, let me just fix up my music. You know what? Uh, let's go with some. No, this is gonna kill my head. Man, streaming with YouTube sometimes can be a uh, drag because of the music issues. I just want to enjoy my stream without having to deal with uh, all of that unneeded complication with their copyrights and stuff. All right, so I'll make this thing smaller like this. Extrude outwards. Then inside one more time, extrude inwards. And there you go. Now if I put a chamfer on this, and I won't have to go ahead and manually deal with all of these edges by adding a support edges. So just drop a chamfer. Make sure, okay, here's another thing that usually happens when people get confused. When you're selecting stuff, like for example, I was selecting polygons, you're gonna see here that you have this little uh, square. So what happens is when you're selecting stuff and you press on the modifier, you actually add the modifier only to your selections. If you have this square on both of these, just deselect this thing and this will project the chamfer to everything. There we go, like this. So now let's go 50. Mm, these ones. Really? Okay then. Stay like that. And it can work. Just a tiny bit smaller. 0 0.5. Now when I take a look at this though. It kind of looks as I could probably scale this thing inwards even more like this and 
and make it on the Y a bit longer. Problem. Just notice this. Let's see if we can fix this. And the way to fix it would be to just move this thing a bit to the top. All right, that's fine. All right, isolate this. All right, maybe like this. All right, cool. Get the ones on the, the bottom to move up. All right. Well, there we go. We fixed our issue. Now it makes a lot more sense, in, especially if I unhide everything and take a look at this thing. Can remove you, you're out of the way now. There you go. Now it makes a lot more sense, it's actually here, opposed to that it was on the actual step. Now with uh, these guys on here, which can have that folding uh, curtain. Ooh, wait a second. This might need to go a bit more on this side. So let's try and add it in. So let's see. On the Y, it probably would need to move for additional 35 centimeters. So negative 35 minus 35 and just so everything follows along with it select these guys along with those guys and push them over on negative 35 on the y minus 35 There we go, much better. Damn it. I thought this was rotated the other way around. So if I rotate this thing like this, you know, ah, all right, whatever. I just noticed this. Okay then, it's fine. It's fine, no problem, it's fine. Uh, it's not going to bug me. Whatever. It can bug me all at once. All right, that, that's I think this is okay for now. This looks okay. The base is fine. Ah, uh, I'll leave it for now. All right, what are we moving on to next? I'm gonna hide the patio. It's in the way. This is what is it called? The elevated room. Let me take all of these guys off. Put them in the 
elevator room this one here this one that one all of them are going to the elevator room what about the kitchen oh yeah a lot of these things need to be moved to their respectable layer so select all of them Everything is there, so move everything into the kitchen. There we go. What the hell are you? Are right, you you go into the kitchen as well? All right, that's fine. That's fine. You are on the single sheet. Yes, you are. You can. Oh, you're going to be hidden. You're fine. All right. Ideas. What do you guys think? Where should we or what should we make now? I'm going to need some sort of a plan for this thing. I don't want to model plans here. So I might. Either get some of the ones that I already... Ah, oh, crap. That will break my rules. Wait a second. It doesn't have to break my rules. I did... I think I did uh, create... What the hell is this? Hold on a sec. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> no, that was grass. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, well. I guess we're going to be making something for this thing on a different stream. So for now, the kitchen is more or less finished in this side. The upper room here is okay. So are we gonna be doing something about this room here or are we gonna be focusing on the, um, whatever sort room is, is the laundry room? Or are we gonna be making something for our bedroom it's up to you guys what do you want to do what do you want to see come on i'm waiting for your uh, comments the laundry all right anybody else it's your time to pitch in Working on ideas. Laundry, laundry, laundry. All right, then, well, we're going to make the laundry room. What is it there to make it a laundry room? First thing that we have is this table that we can use it as a folding table. So whatever, like you uh, create, like you know, not not create, but everything you wash, you just fold on the clothes in here. A laundry basket. Oh wait a second! When it comes down to a laundry basket, I do know for a fact that I had made a tutorial about what was it called the hmm what was it called damn it let me see false side no 
Glass, I guess. Battle chair, no, no. Plant chair, no, 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 no. Rocks, rock chair, rugs. Then I, what, what was it called? The. All right, I have to check my own YouTube channel to see how I named that thing. So the way that I named it, which was ages ago, I called it, what did I call it? Yeah, a rattan basket. All right. What the hell? Now well, that's a good, good and all, but I don't think I have that model anymore. It was, uh, where is it? Uh, it's this one. And this model. Wait a second. How the hell did I call this thing? Let me see. Ah, fudge. As a good possibility, I haven't saved this or I've saved it somewhere else and I have no idea how I've called it. Uh huh. No. Same. You know what? I'll see if I can find that thing when I'm off uh, the stream. But if I can, yeah, we can use that thing over here because I do not want to model a wicker basket uh, now from scratch since I've already done it. And those things uh, take, tend to take quite a bit of time to like until you get the weave right. <sighs> Whoa, that was fun. All right, so in a laundry room there would be what exactly there would be well a washer and a dryer wait what oh yeah it's just natural that there would be some faucets as well hmm all right whatever let's First of all, let me just take this door here. That's fine. Why is the door so low? Or is it though? No, it's not too low. It's just that this thing is a bit too high. So get both of them. Let's move down a bit. Like this. No foul. Yeah, that's fine. All right, ideas. Oh, you guys are really sh sharing ideas. That's nice. Uh, 
I really should have this thing open on my other side. Let me put it here so I can see what that is going on. This looks pretty damn nice. I like this one as well because it kind of has that Japanese type of style, styling with the sliding door. Kind of hides the uh, dryer and uh, washer. This is also very neat. I like this. I like this. Really nice. Looks really, really nice. And this is what you want to have in your, uh, yeah, a snake. Always a great thing to add in, into your laundry room. All right then, let's add in something. All right, voting time, what do we go with? Which one do we go? Do we go with something like this? Which kind of looks a hell of a lot like, more like a kitchen than it does the laundry room, but hell, it has that thing. Do we go with something like this? Or do we go with something like this? Or do we just say, screw it to everything and we just add in a snake? What happens? What do we do? <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, all right, two go for snakes and one for sliding door. So we're gonna win a sli sliding door. One with the shelves, all right, one with shelves. This one then. Yeah, I'm more inclined to this one because uh, if I put a sliding door for that thing here, it's gonna have another opening up here. It's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be too many sliding doors. So, yeah, one we can slide in one similar to this one. And we can put in some stuff on the bottom, like th these guys. And yeah, that was it. <laughs> Man, your name is so in tune with uh, this snake. Sad. <laughs> oh, wow. This is why I love the live streams, man. This is why I love the live streams. Why not a shelf with a sliding door and it's a little bit open to look inside and inside there is a snake, correct? Just so we make everybody happy. All right, well, let me just, yeah, I see Animus is right. Let's just see how much space we have to work with. So let's drop it on to washing machine dimensions. All right, images. 
so it's 550 by 60 by 85 uh, abort open up my layers drop it down to default and let's go oh what did I just do all right so for this one I want a length of no so that's 60 by 50 by 85 all right so this is the size of a washing machine really by 50 okay so it's relatively small out of context but you're familiar with substance painting yes I am it's an amazing piece of software I've actually used it in uh, some of my tutorials So by having this thing in here, we can have another one on top of it. Get a washer dryer combo. And then we can have another. Let's do a bit of. This can work. This can definitely work. So go inside, bridge, delete, Z, Z, and drop it. I'll oh, actually cap it, then drop it like this. Move this thing to the side. This can work. Uh, the only thing that kind of gets me worried is how is this going to be viable when you walk into the door? Well, let's just ask our amazing guy. Amazing guy, please come in here and we'll just walk through this damn door. Oh, dude, there's a lot. There's plenty of space to walk in here. All right, thank you, amazing guy, go back. So this means that that idea with the shelves and everything, this is a pretty viable idea for this place. And what's the rendering engine you're going to use? Definitely, well, not that, not say definitely, but probably gonna end up being V-Ray. All right, so for this, we're gonna have two. Hmm. What if I do something like this then? Uh, instead of doing it that way, let's detach this as a clone. Reuse the same geometry. But whoa, whoa, whoa. Reuse the same geometry over here. Make it Z cap. Drop it down a bit. Move it back. Alright, Red Shadow is now following. Awesome. 
All right, so let's drop with something like, yeah, rip substance. Uh, since Adobe acquired substance, I'm not sure how that thing is gonna go. I'm kind of hoping that Adobe will not basically do what Adobe does and take a really, really, really amazing product and just, well, I'm not gonna say take a dump on it, but something similar because if I say what I want to say, I'm probably gonna get a strike on YouTube. So yeah. Here's the hoping that doesn't happen. All right, move it up. All right, something like this. I'm definitely gonna have to do something about this because I don't like the way that it's sticking up so far up here. Yeah, we'll see. Anyways, I don't have that much time to like play around with this. So let's do it like this. For next stream, I'm gonna have to finally bite it and just uh, do the um, washing machine and drying machine because even in uh, future uh, streams we do, in future uh, topics, we're bound to have a washer and dryer. So yeah, I'm gonna have to model one, just like we did with the, uh, the, the kitchen for the uh, refrigerator. So let's find some uh, washer and dryer that's gonna be useful to us and it's either gonna be me making a tutorial on how to make one and breaking it down or I can do it on live on live stream so yeah let me find a washer and a dryer washing machine so we can see wh which one do we want to use so washing machines a washing machine is a device used to wash laundry no shit Sherlock All right, not a bad one. E I like this one more. I don't want to have that regular looking 80s washing machine. I want to have something more like this. What is this? This is an LG. What is this? A smart. View file. All right, I'm gonna have one of this washing machine. Washing machine. And a drying machine. It's the same thing. And uh, not really. So this is a washer dryer in this I see it's a different one. So I'm guessing the only thing that's different is the inside in here. Clothes dryer. Ah, well, why not? Well, let's try her. Let's see if, ooh, hello.
I like these. These look all futuristic and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. They go for uh, the same type. It's like you can have. One of the things that I really don't like is the machines that have a washer and dryer in the same thing. They work like crap. They don't do a good thing, a good job as a washing machine, and they don't do a good job as a drying machine. They just do a mediocre job for both of them. So it's I'm not a big fan. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna take this thing and roll with it. Once we're we have one, we'll just probably just go over and uh, modify it so we have a similar dryer as well. There we go. But it's okay to have that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll have those two uh, in there. Hey, Shinoda. Running a bit late, man, running a bit late. All right, so I have that thing cut out for next stream. And then we're gonna have to do something about this bathroom, add in some stuff in here to make it leaven it up a bit. And generally speaking, the large things in here in the scene have been already added. So if I unhide all, yes, I unhide everything. We can see that we have a lot of things done. And quite honestly, in this stream, we had some fun with adding in the exterior here. It was kind of fun to add. We have the supporting uh, sides for it. We worked a bit on uh, the interior here. We added in some extra geometry up here. We have the setup for our uh, fold downs. We did a bit on this side. We added in some uh, things, so we're going to have to like do something about that definitely don't want you to be visible again so visible so we still have got about another like six or seven minutes so I can either use those to uh, sketch out what we want to do for next time or we can just uh, cut it short here but again I would like to ask you all for one last uh, bit of information from you guys and that is what would you like to do in the other wait what discord the amazing man <laughs> amazing guy award <laughs> oh man that's a good thing you can have frequently there you go you can have my like or whatever that thing is called. Uh, all right. Uh, do you have guys have any ideas? What can we put in this scene that would make it uh, that would make it pop out a bit more? So this is the just the original, the first pass, like the big things. Next, like I said, I want to spend uh, one or two, maybe even more streams, where we're gonna go in and start adding in small things. Those small things are going to be fillers, vases, uh, or those katana swords that we were talking about for this uh, particular house. So any ideas as to what we can add that would make this scene a lot better? We have the bed and the bathroom in here. We have a kitchen in here. Any ideas what we can add to, to make this thing better? And this is the ceiling. Uh, 
Yeah, the amazing guy. Flooring decorative posters, pictures. Yeah, you see posters, pictures, scrolls. That's all secondary things. Francois, I have models that will work. Dude, I got models that I can furnish this entire house in less than five minutes. The um, the whole idea about making these uh, streams is that I have only one rule, and that is only one rule, and that rule is very simple. I can only use models that I've made on live, or I have made a tutorial about. So that's the thing. I want to make sure that everything you see on the live streams, you know exactly how it was made, and if... Uh, I'm using something in this scene that I haven't made it in this scene. I made it in a previous uh, live stream so I can reference you over there so you can see how it is made. That's the whole thing about these uh, streams and that was to have some fun making them and show people how exactly it was made. And in the, mm, as I'm making all of that, I do make mistakes. Hell, I make a lot of mistakes some, at some places. And when I make mistakes, I show you how to get out of those mistakes. For example, I just noticed something. Where now when you're in the kitchen and you look outside, you have a very, very different uh, look. For example. Uh, damn it. Open. Hide. I did not see this. Be because we didn't have this, but now when I take a look at outside the windows of the kitchen, you can see a much more interesting end results. Yeah, that's that's a really nice thing. Uh, why is the kitchen windows texture turned? Ah, dude, don't worry about the textures. The textures are there just as like placeholders. See, it's the same thing everywhere. I just put this thing uh, as the regular UVW's uh, map just to have something to hold that texture. For now, it's okay. All right, furniture, chairs, electronics, TV, maybe. Uh, Ian Adams, uh, the idea here was to make something like a modern house that would have the feudal Japan or Japanese type of living so we actually had that uh, talk in the last uh, stream uh, that talk was do we put the milestone of modern living called the TV and quite honestly we can probably drop a TV in here but it would have to be a trade-off if we put a TV in there that would mean that this thing in here that was uh, initially thought of as something like a green room would have to be like well probably it's gonna end up being uh, done like this so I can probably take this and now since we have outside I can just put it outside in here and maybe yeah if I put it outside we can have a uh, nice looking greenery when you take a look and take a look outside your window and in here we can make this thing into a lounge like this and now I can drop a TV in here I can hell I can put a PlayStation if I want to which I won't because yeah no These are all fine. Yeah, whatever. Lanterns. Yeah, definitely. Lighting for th stuff like this. We're going to be using some lanterns. Well, actually, just for now, let me just put that thing back. There we go. Yeah, wait. Maybe add a snake. What's, what's with the snakes? 
how the hell did we end up with snakes for today? How is the day today's stream all about snakes? Who was it? Sad? Sad? Or sad? Man. You and your goddamn snake. This is this is a sad snake po uh, posted by a guy called Sad. No one knows what it's like to be the sad man. <laughs> oh man. All right. Anyways then, uh, next stream we will continue with uh, creating those uh, two elements in there. Then we will we'll see about the idea of adding in a TV in here. And yeah. Am I going to do any artwork sculptures? That's a good question. Uh, for this one, I don't think we we will be doing anything for like a sculpture for uh, this. But probably next time we uh, start off a new uh, topic, we might have something like that as well. Buddha. Yeah, I don't feel like sculpting a fat man. We'll see. You never know. You never know. Anyways, uh, we've been going on for longer than two hours now. And I would like to thank you all for uh, joining me today. It was a fun stream. Hell, it was a really, really interesting uh, and fun stream. I would like to thank Stanley for his donation and the man of the <laughs> day, Rohit Cocaine, the, the man with the best name. Cocaine, man, that was amazing. That was amazing. Thanks for the membership join. And everybody else, like I said, thank you for joining me in today. Hit the like, so hit the like button if you uh, enjoyed the stream. And as always, it was very fun. It was entertaining. I loved it. And what do I always say at the end of my streams? Yeah, Vista just said it. Well, like I said, peace! And now that would be amazing if I could just find this thing. Yeah. As I was saying, thank you all and peace.